Kelsey, aka the Mindset Guy, with today's training video, which builds on last the last video that I put out, which was all about the ultimate success formula. This was this formula over here, and the four steps that go to it. Know your outcome, take action, notice the results you're getting, change, and then away you go until you achieve it. And that's about learning from our own experience, or some would say the school of hard knocks, and that came from Tony Robbins' book, Unlimited Power. But this week, I want to talk about the fast track to success. How do you get to the outcomes that you want quicker, faster, and easier? Well, the best way to do that is to learn from other people's experience. And this is where this whole idea of modeling excellence really comes from. Finding models of excellence and figuring out what they do. Now, modeling isn't anything new. It's something we've been doing from children, right? Who did we first model? Where well, our carers or our parents, right? The challenge is that we model everything about them. You know, we're a sponge and we're soaking up both, both what's good about them or maybe what's not good about them as well. And you also see, you know, really young children, they model their heroes, right? So, you know, a little boy running around uh, as his superhero, or it could be, you know, a young girl that her superhero is a singer or something like that, and they model them, they want to be like them, right? So modeling isn't anything new, it's what we naturally do. But this is more about being specific and being deliberate and being purposeful and figuring out what is it that this person is doing that, that's getting the result that I want, the outcome that I want specifically, and then what can I learn from that and take from that. I mean, that's the whole essence really of modeling. And it is the fast track because the person that we're modeling and the specific thing that they do that we're modeling they will have gone through this process many, many times to get there. So they will have gone through the school of hard knocks, they will have made mistakes, they will have learned from those mistakes. And so they've got the experience and they've got the result. And we're looking basically to learn from it. So, you know, this is why this idea is such a great idea. And the first thing is, you know, a couple of questions for you. So, you know, who are you modeling right now? And are you modeling the type of behaviors that are going to get you to where. And as I said in, this, in the last video, success leaves clues. So whose clues are you looking at? Whose clues are you deliberately learning from? So this is really about being very deliberate and very purposeful around the modeling concept. So when it comes to modeling then, let's just very quickly go through what it takes to model. So the first thing is you're, you're looking to really model a specific thing that somebody does, right? So, so or, or they're getting the outcome that you want and you're looking to, and that could be in health, wealth, love, or lifestyle, right? Any one of those four. They're getting the results. So you're going to start looking at and become very curious around what is the difference that makes the difference then? You know, what is it that they're doing that I'm not doing that I could learn from in order to accelerate my result? So once you've sort of got an idea of what that is, in terms of modeling then, what is it that you, you need to model about them? Well, in one of the videos that I put out there called, uh, it was all about empowerment, there was two videos around it, I shared the four core powers that any one of us have, and that is to think, feel, speak, and act. They're core powers because we're totally in control of them. They're within our sphere of control 100%. I determine what I think, I determine how I feel, I determine um, what I say, and I just, uh, determine how I act and behave. So they're, they're the core powers. And then um, also when you're modeling, you're modeling strategies as well. So you're looking, you know, what do they think different? What do they believe different? What values do they have? What emotions do they act from? Where are they emotionally? You know, is it confidence? Is it courage? Is it relaxed? Is it calm? What is it? What words do they use? How do they verbalize certain experiences? And what can I see non-verbally in the way that they behave and the way that they act? And also, what strategies do they use? Right? What strategies? Now, strategies are, way, are ways that they organize these resources and any other resources outside of them. So let's say, for instance, that get a couple of examples. Let's say that someone is very, very good at managing their time. They seem to be brilliant at it and you aren't very good but to get the outcome that you want it's very important you manage your time so what you would do is you would if you can interview them even better and you would find out what do they think what do they think what do they believe what values do they have around this specific time management thing that they do you know what emotions what do they say around it 
and also what words do they use, and also how do they act. And then strategies. They may have some kind of time management system that they follow, and they follow it religiously. It might be that they do something every week at the same time, like every Sunday. They plan their week, for instance, and you look and you think, now the difference that makes the difference is, I don't do that. That's not what I do. I kind of just get going, and I kind of do this, right? So as a result of that, then what you would do is you would then you would act as if you would act as if you have an art, all of those resources and use those resources the same way, and then you would test and see, you know, well, what sort of results am I getting? And you'd look to refine, um, and you can do this in any in absolutely any area. Maybe somebody's very good at handling adversity, and I shared some of the beliefs in my adversity video that I use that I've modelled. Okay, it could be the, they're very good at creating online businesses. So, you know, I, I have my own mentors and coaches that I use, and I'm always looking to extract from them, you know, what do they think and what do they believe? Um, how do they act? So I'll observe and I'll watch, and, if, and, if, uh, and sometimes, you know, I, I pay for this, so I pay for coaches and mentors to help me. So it's much easier, but if you can't do that, then you need to do it from a distance. So maybe they write things and you can read. Maybe there's an autobiography about them. You can read about it. So you, get, you go as many different places as you can to get the detail that you can before you then try it on. You test it, you see, and then you refine it. You refine and get it working for you. So this is the quickest way that I know to get the outcomes that you want. So where in your life, when in your life, could you be modeling excellence? Who could you be modeling more specifically? What could you be modeling about them? And how could you go about getting the information, the difference that is making the difference? Because no one's better than you, smarter than you, or greater than you. All it is is they've got these organized slightly different to you. And if you can extract what that is, try it on, use it, and apply it, you can leapfrog the results that you're currently getting. So there we are, Colin Hiles. Uh, talking a little bit about today around modeling excellence and if you've liked this video and enjoyed this video then there will be a link below this video or if you're on YouTube in this video that I suggest you click through where I go into concepts like this in far more detail so really the difference that makes the difference between success and failure and there's some really good videos that I've got on that so click on that link uh, leave me a comment here. One didn't enjoy it, ten enjoyed it. Um, give me some feedback, always enjoy that. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video.